So, last, last month, I did a little video of my trip to the city to watch uh, Black Panther. That was sponsored by these lovely patrons and this lovely group. And uh, I've been asked repeatedly if I'm going to do another one for Infinity War. And the answer to that is yes. Yes, I am. But to anyone who's actually known me for the past, I don't know, decade, uh, you would know that um, Black Panther was just the tip of the iceberg. Infinity War is so much more. So, story time. Back then, in 2008, when Iron Man first premiered, I very clearly remember that I didn't pay mu that much attention to the movies or the comics or even the characters in particular. But uh, I do remember even more vividly is that my mom and dad used to watch the movie. But they watched the movie and they encouraged me to try and watch it. And being the clueless elementary kid that I was, I didn't really understand, understood. So I ignored the movie altogether. But flash forward to uh, The Incredible Hulk, and then four, and then the release of the first Avengers film. Who wouldn't get hooked? Also, look, I look what I found. I found I don't know if you can see. I found a wish thing. I should make a wish. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I'm recording right now actually. Still there? Uh, she's gone. My mom just called me. She can see me way over there in that building. I hope it showed. But the thing is, by the time I actually got around to appreciate the Avengers universe, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, my dad passed away of a kidney disease and I never really got to show my appreciation for even at least Iron Man. So in many ways, I guess this video is going to be dedicated to him. Not exactly. I mean, I learned to appreciate the MCU in my own way. Sort of. Anywho. Again, this video wouldn't have been possible without the support of my lovely patrons who I hope will be showed somewhere around here and of course the wonderful people from JCI I can't see anything right now It's fucking bright There's my mom over there Say hi! Wave! see shit. Also, those bleachers I was sitting on a while ago, I didn't realize they were fully rusted, so my butt's dirty, even my hands. Oh, I hope you can see it. My face is gone. There it is. Say hi. <laughs> also, my butt's dirty. Oh my god. All right, just finished eating lunch, took a shower, and I'm gonna take a quick break. If you're wondering where I am, well, here's a hint. Uh, just a quick breather. Holy shit. Um, I just realized that this gate, this gate over here, does it remind you of something? No, I know I'm watching too much Hannibal. I've got no strings to hold me down, to make me sad, to make me hum. I've got no strings, and now I'm free. There are no strings on me. But I suppose what this video is really about is how much of an impact the MCU has on me, or 
has had on me. I mean, it's already summer vacation here, and usually by this time I would rather spend my time indoors, drawing, but for this entire day it's already, oh yeah I forgot to mention, it's April 19th, 2018, and it's six days until the premiere of Avengers Infinity War here in the Philippines. And um, for uh, the entire day, I haven't drawn a single thing, and that's pretty new. So, um, yeah. And that's another thing too, actually. I don't think I've been outside this much in the past, I don't know, month? And. Actually, I don't even know why I'm outside. Oh, wait, right. The only times I actually get to go outside is either for my job or uh, to watch a movie. And that's actually pretty damn sad. You see, what I'm thinking is, is that the Marvel Cinematic Universe means many different things to many different people but what it means to me is that it's a story that no matter how fictional it is it has managed to grow on me literally here's a little visual for you one of the things i value most is being able to watch movies on my own all of these tickets are movies that i have watched on my own now can you guess how many of these tickets are actually marvel movies Let's check. And um, Ragnarok. Oh wow. That's that's not that's not actually that much. Oh well, that's my point. So believe it or not. I do actually try to keep uh, physical hard copies of all the things I've done on Patreon. Um, even with those that I haven't done on Patreon, actually. Um, here is when I did the October uh, series, mental in the mental illness series, and um, uh, maybe um, a hard copy version of uh, Marvel. Well, incomplete at least. And, but uh, what I want to show you is uh, the very first sketch. This is the very first sketchbook I use for Patreon. And the very first sketch you will see is this. It was the sketch for my piece for uh, Captain America Civil War. And if I'm correct, it should be from last. Wow. Um, June 2016. Whoa, 2016, yeesh. Now I'm still not sure what I'm exactly planning on uh, drawing for uh, Infinity War, but one thing is for certain is that I want to do the original characters. So here was uh, a post sketch I did uh, last week. It was supposed to be for my original characters, but uh, was this used so I'm gonna go ahead and use it for um, the OG5 uh, hopefully that, that that'll be uh, for um, Natasha uh, Hawkeye I'm gonna go ahead and push him up a little um, actually no wait for uh, uh, you know, I'll figure it out later. And another fan art piece that I would actually want to try, though I am very nervous about, is Scarlet Witch. While I do love Vision as the newest addition to the team, Scarlet Witch, this woman, has grown so much in just those few movies, starting from Civil War, or no, starting from Age of Ultron. <laughs> But I just love how she grew from this to 
this to this to this Heesh. so uh yeah i love it i love it also i mean trying something else something i haven't done in years but uh would very much love to do again as a guilty pleasure no no it's not a guilty pleasure no i think and let's just see what happens Hello again. It is now April 22, 2018. The second day of, I guess, the last week until Infinity War. And I'm not exactly sure what I want to talk about, but I have been thinking of certain predictions for the movie. And um, I just want to show off this place. Um, <clears throat> me and the family are currently in a trip right now. And uh, this place, I don't know if you can see it, but there are light bulbs everywhere. And it just rained a few minutes ago. So it kind of makes the place look really nice. So, who's most likely to die in Infinity War? Honestly, well, I also agree with all the other people who said that the OG Avengers will die. I sort of just uh, made it a point to expect everyone to die, so that whoever actually ends, uh, whoever actually ends up not dying, will make me extremely happy. Although I really, really wish. No, 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 no. I am fully expecting everyone to die, so that whoever lives will be okay sort of oh and that's that's my grandpa over there hi love it's his first time outside in a really long while and his first time outside ends up being really rainy that's pretty funny actually you know what while we're here i'm gonna go ahead and ask my sister my, uh, the same questions i want to ask because she and I will be watching Infinity War together. She uh, really wanted to go. She's been slowly going into. Uh, she's been slowly engaging herself in the Marvel Cinematic Universe as well, and she refused to go and watch the movie without me, which I'm pretty honored about. But I won't openly admit that to her. But if you're watching this. Sis, no. if you end up watching this in the future, don't think too heavy about it. Why am I so exhausted already? Okay, she's over there somewhere in the tire obstacle course thing. There she is. Hey, uh, Arita. Then, go to CJ. I want to ask you two questions about what you think about Infinity War. But let's. Okay, that's a good word. Ano matatalo ba ni? Nang lahat ng Avengers si Thanos. Hey. Ano matay ng lugar? Ang dumi na dito na tino. Ira si J. Prediction for Infinity War. Okay. Ano si tingin mo ang unang mama? Kaya kahit. Ano si tingin? Ano si ano si tingin yung mama matay? That went well.
Oops. <laughs> baliktad, baliktad. Yung kanan ng i-green mo. Relax. You can stop for a while. Relax. Green, sa green yung kanan mo. Na paa. No, sa green yung kanan mo paa. Your right foot. Today is April 25, 2018, the day of the premiere of Infinity War. And uh, the money I'm supposed to use for my travels and uh, the ticket was borrowed for emergency purposes, which I'm okay with. So what, what might end up happening today is... If I don't get my money back until maybe 3 p.m., I won't be able to watch the movie today. And I'm gonna have to cancel my reservation for um, Hillary's seat. This sucks, I know. Second update. We got the money. Also, I'll be dressing up as someone. And, um, hint, 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 hint. Also, there's a blackout.